All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, so far we've been talking about component form, right? We have nice little vectors, and we have nice little vector v, right? Component form. OK. So then we started talking about, well, well, we liked component form because it always has an initial point at 0. Kind of just like we always had initial angles, always had to stand on the x-axis, right? <laughs> and then we also, they always had to be angles, always had to be dealing with on the origin. So we, we like that kind of formalization. So here's always here's our component form. Then we started talking about unit vectors. Kind of like when we deal with the unit circle, our unit vectors have a magnitude of 1, right? So, but let's say you know v or something doesn't maybe has a magnitude of 1. How could we maybe another way to kind of rewrite this? Well, I have two little friends, all right? And let's say v is not a magnitude of 1. But let's go ahead and standardize this a little bit. And let's say at the point 1 comma 0 and at the point 0 comma 1, we have two little friends. My first friend is vector i, and the next one is vector j. Now, notice how I wrote my i. Okay? i does not equal i. You guys remember this one, right? You guys made fun of me, like, why do your eyes look so crazy? Why do you put that tail on it? Uh, you don't know how to write a true eye. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I wrote that eye so we can make sure we can distinguish this. Because if I, if I write that eye, I'm, I'm using that to represent our complex numbers, right? Complex number system. This eye is representing this unit vector. All right? So, what do you guys need to understand about? Let's look at our vector v. Vector v, we know, is equal to v1 comma v2, right? Okay. What I want you guys to understand is it also can be rewritten, rewritten to look like this. v1 times 1 comma 0 plus um, v2 times 0 comma 1. All right. Now notice, guys, if you're gonna if you're gonna multiply this, if these are scalar multiples, Ben, if you were to multiply this back again, what you just have is v1 plus v2, right? And think about that. Like, if you were to take this plus this, you'd get back up to your v, right? If I take this angle plus this angle, I still get to my vector v, right? Does everybody say that? I, j. I plus J still takes me to my resulting vector V. All right? So I want you guys to understand as a vector can always be written in your form of uh, V1 times your vector coordinate 1, comma 0, plus V2 times your vector coordinate uh, 0, comma 1. But is there another way to rewrite 1, comma 0 and 0, comma 1, those vectors? We can rewrite them as what? Sorry, I'm in the way. I and J. So we can rewrite them as v1i plus v2j, where v1 and v2 are going to be your horizontal and vertical scalars of your vector. All right? So this is going to be a linear combination, which we'll get through, of your vectors with dealing with i and j. All right? But it's another way for us to understand how to write vectors. So we talked about we have vectors you know, in our component form. right? We started with just two points, right? connecting them. And then we went from there to finding component form. Then we started talking about units, unit vectors. Then we're talking about rewriting a vector by using special unit vectors, i and j, to help us write a, another form of an angle or of a vector. OK? That's it. That's all I got. So I know, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't go through a lot of practice. The whole real purpose of today was just